Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you two quick tips for Microsoft Word. The first tip would be how to create this kind of uh, multiply blending effect inside Microsoft Word, where we get this uh, you know rectangle overlaid on top of the image, and we will get those blended colors. The second tip would be how to create this alignment where everything goes from left to right, and obviously this is not the standard like justify alignment, which wouldn't work for individual letter, uh, for individual labels. Okay. So this is one example. I also have a second example, and this will be probably what we will be doing today, just because this one is already using a grayscale image, so this one is using a color image. So let's start, let's jump into blank document, and actually let's open the browser, and I already have this uh, photo opened, it's from the Pexels website, I will put the link in the description. What I will do is I will right click and select copy image, but of course you can also say free download and download it in any size you want. So once it's copied, I will paste it in Microsoft Word blank document, pressing the Ctrl V on my keyboard, and I will resize it a little bit just to make it a little bit smaller. Now, this is a color image, and I want this to be converted to grayscale, so I can jump to format, and actually before I do so, I'll move it a little bit down, so I can see both the image and both the drop-down menu. So I'll jump to format, and I will open the colors, and you can see that we have few different options for grayscale. We can either recolor it using the gray colors, or we can simply uh, lower the saturation to 0% which will remove all the color information and only keep the grayscale image. So this is what I will do. I will set the saturation to be 0, but I want to update or change the brightness and contrast a little bit, so I'll open the corrections and I will probably raise the brightness, but this is probably too much, so I'll click the picture correction options and it will just open me the format picture. I can just right click and select format picture which will open it the same for me. I will jump to the picture properties and in the uh, what is it? It's the picture corrections. I will increase the brightness a little bit, uh, maybe like 5% and decrease the contrast by minus 5. Okay, I kind of like it. I can play with this forever, but let's keep it there and uh, keep moving forward. Okay, so we have this image and we want to overlay some kind of rectangle over it. So I will draw this rectangle insert shapes and I will draw a new rectangle once this menu is loaded. So I will click rectangle and I will just draw it over the image like so. I will set the outline to no outline in the format ribbon and fill could be probably be like a yellow, standard yellow color. Now the way how you do this in all the other applications is you set the blending mode. So for example in Photoshop, let's let's open Photoshop. In Photoshop if you have this image and the rectangle, you will just open this drop down menu for setting the blending mode and it will set it to multiply. What this will cause is it will multiply those colors together, so the blacks will stay black because this is the darkest color it could be, but the whites will be multiplied with the yellow, which means it will get yellow, so it will get this yellow tint. Now inside Microsoft Word, we don't have any kind of blending modes. What we can do is we can lower the transparency, which will not actually work like the blending mode, but it will reveal a little bit of the background picture. The second way how we can achieve such effect would be uh, to just copy this picture one more time. So I will select the photo and paste it one more time, somewhere down below. I will set the alignment to be below or behind the text and move it to the very same position as the first. Actually, I will set it to in front of the text and move it to the actual very same position as the first image, like so. It snaps together. Okay, so what I can do now is I can open the format ribbon and in the color drop down, I can select I want to recolor this to yellow color. Now I only have one yellow color, but if I change the color palette inside the design ribbon, I can probably get more colors. So I will open the colors in the design ribbon and I will set the color palette to be yellow. Now hopefully if I open the format ribbon and the color drop down menu, I will get more options. I mean I still only have one, but this seems to be fine. So I will select this gold. And I don't want this goal to be applied on the whole picture, but only behind the behind the rectangle. So what I can do is I can crop the picture a little bit. So I will click the crop button and crop it from left top to about where the rectangle is. Now you can see it snaps to rectangle, so it's pretty easy to make it the, the right size, like so. I will click outside and voila, we get like the blending effect where the rectangle overlaid over the image. I mean, it's not overlaid over the image, but where those two meet we have this yellow background. I will probably jump to the picture properties and increase the brightness just a little bit more, maybe like 15% or so. Okay, I think that that's, that's perfectly fine for our multiply blending mode effect. So let's jump to the, let's overlay the image. No, sorry, let's, let's add the text. So I will insert a new text box, which is pretty standard 
way how to add the text over the image. So insert shapes text box. This is a text box. And I will draw it like so. And I'll type in maybe computer. Whatever. I'll change the font to be code bold. Code bold. And you can download this font for free from the da font or from the uh, what is it? It's the Font Fabric website. It's actually the paid font, but they offer this one for free, which is kind of cool. So I've changed this to Code Bold, and I will increase the size to maybe I don't know 80 or 90 points. Actually, 80 is fine. And in the Format ribbon, I will change the fill. I mean, shape fill to no fill, and outline to no outline to make this text box transparent. Now I will probably press the Enter key, like so. Okay, now we have various different options for aligning the text. We have the left alignment, the center alignment, the right alignment, and we have the justify. But as you can see, the left and justify kind of looks the same in here. What I can probably do is, just to demonstrate it a little bit better, I will copy some random text. So I'll open some random text generator and I'll copy this text into my document and just make sure that there is no spell checking. So disable the check, uh, uh, check spelling and grammar. So here we have left alignment, center alignment, and right alignment, and of course the justify alignment. Now the justify, it just justifies all the lines except for the last one. If we want the last one to be justified as well, we can press shift enter key, which will basically add a new line break, which actually means that this is now the, the last line, but this is empty. And this is not last line, so it gets justified as well. But as you can see, it only makes the spaces between uh, between you know words a little bit bigger, so it doesn't work inside the words. What we can do is we can set this to justify, and add the line break as well. So I will press Shift Enter in here and Shift Enter in here. If I show the invisible characters, you will see that this this arrow is a new line break, while the P character is a new new uh, enter key pressed. It's a new paragraph. So I will hide those. Now what I can do is I can enter, uh, insert spaces in between letters and you can see this as I'm inserting spaces I'm getting this alignment which I'm aiming for. So something like this. But there is one more easy way how to accomplish the very same thing without actually adding spaces in between letters. So let me just get rid of anything. Get rid of anything. It's just a new paragraph, no line breaks or whatever. And let's just focus on the alignments one more. So this is the left, which is control L. This is the center, which is control E. This is the right, which is control R. And there we have the justify, which is control J. Now, if I press not control J, but control shift J, I will get this special kind of alignment where everything is aligned from left to right, which is exactly what we want, of course. And that's it. That's how you get this special kind of alignment. You can see that nothing is uh, selected just because there is no icon for this, but it works perfectly fine. So I will just maybe change this to a different font, get rid of my helper text. And that's it. That's how you create this fake uh, blend, uh, fake multiply blending mode. And also how you create this kind of special alignment, everything going from left to right. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.